Hello everyone, my name is Adnan Getaf and I'm a PhD student at Université Polytechnique Haute de France in France. Thank you for listening to this pre presentation about our work titled Multi-Channel Tactile Feedback based on user finger speed. So we will begin first our presentation about the motivations that, that drove us to conduct this work. So among possible ways for a system to deliver information to the user, vision and hearing have been since the emergence of a uh, computing system, the primary uh, perception channel for user feedback. For example, for visual feedback, we have uh, displays, wall-sized wall displays, VR and AR headsets and projectors. The same way goes for auditory feedbacks, with, for example, headphones or uh, phone speakers, etc. Both uh, visual and uh, auditory feedback Technology used for visual and auditory feedback are, are mature and keep evolving with significant work that leverage those uh, output modalities. By comparison to what we have seen before, the sense of touch uh, remain less, uh, less exploited despite its benefit to deliver information ice free. However, <coughs> it started the, those problems it started to be, to be addressed. The hardware system, our hardware system are evolving in their way to deliver a uh, subtle uh, form of tactile feedback. And researchers are continuously uh, looking for ways to enhance the experience with tactile feedback. Tactile feedback can help users to uh, enhance, uh, to help users to, uh, to, to have, help users to have simulation when touching the, the, the surface and therefore give the, the user some uh, 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 information about touched object. Uh, there is two main technologies that, that, uh, that help us to deliver, uh, to deliver tactile, tactile feedback. We have electrovibration electro technologies and also ultrasonic technologies. Also, previous research on tactile texture recognition demonstrated the ability for users to accurately recognize texture even when using different figure speed or when perceiving, perceiving different the simultaneous but different texture or when the size of the texture is small. Also, uh, researchers have uh, proposed application to strengthen the interaction or to enhance the expressiveness of touched object or to uh, offer accessible interaction design for people with impairments. So based on what we have uh, seen before, we, want, we wanted to uh, increase the bandwidth of tactile feedback by, uh, by uh, allowing a multi-channel haptic capabilities. Uh, some, th there was uh, already some interest in, in multi-channel uh, haptic monitoring, like for example the leveraging device orientation to output uh, different uh, 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 to output to deliver different different uh, output output signals, or signals, or also to assign uh, the uh, different uh, tactile effects to different on-screen locations. However, on such system. Uh, the, the tactile feedback is used as, an, uh, as a proxy or add for a visual input. For our case, we wanted to, to preserve the, 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 the ice-free nature of tactile feedback while, uh, while adding the multi-channel uh, capabilities. So multi-channel multi -channel tactile feedback can, uh, can, uh, can make the interaction ri richer by allowing, for example, uh, the possibility to interact ice-free so perceiving my maybe uh, different information from different uh, information feed, the perceiving maybe different information with tactile feedback w without the need to have on screen uh, gaze, like for example driving driving while using the GPS, also to ensure a less obtrusive interaction, for example being in a meeting and check, checking whether we received a message and what type of message, and also to ensure privacy by maybe avoiding uh, sh shoulder surfing. So, uh, in order to uh, approach our uh, idea, which is was speed-based multi-channel feedback, some other requirements had to be taken into account. First, the number and type, type of tactile feedback, which uh, can enhance, can, uh, which can, uh, num number of type and type of tactile feedback, which can, uh, can influence the, uh, the user experience. Also, we wanted to increase the, the, our, the, the tactile output bandwidth, but without also, to, without also saturating the user's sense of touch. Also, uh, another parameter to take into account is that uh, the, the texture can only be perceived through fingers' movement. So based on that, it, it seems logical for us to rely on the uh, user's finger speed, uh, uh, given that, that there is also prior work that demonstrates that, that the user can accurately recognize texture using different finger speed, which were slow, moderate, and fast. So based on all that, we present our technique, which is multi-channel tactile feedback based on user finger speed. So we run an experiment to see whether a user can extract information from uh, tactile surface by dis dis distinguishing different information assigned to different texture perceived at different finger speeds. 
So, our, uh, so 10 participants uh, volunteered to take part in our experiments and we used uh, the Evita device which is, which is a tactile uh, feedback, uh, tactile feedback uh, tablet that uh, use, uses friction reduction by means of ultrasonic vibrations. Uh, uh, for the task one, we ask our participant to move their finger at uh, different speed and perceive that, uh, and identify the texture that is perceived at each speed. We had two expertise level, novice and experts. Users start always with novice, then move, move to expert. The only difference here between the novice and the expert mode is that in the novice mode, users had a, a, a speed indicator, which was a message, the, a message of the speed that, uh, that, that the finger is moving on in black color that turns, uh, turns, turns green when the user is in the correct speed. Also, we evaluated three finger speed, which were slow, moderate, and fast, and three tactile texture. Uh, we encoded the te tactile texture by respect to, te te to texture densities from the densest one to the sparse one and by altern uh, alternating high and low friction. Here, high friction is associated with the black color and low friction is associated with the white color. For the second task, which is, which is one finger speed channel, here, in addition to identify the texture, uh, that the uh, user had further to identify the information which was associated with this text texture. We associated the, the forms to the slow speed, the colors to the moderate speed, and the contour line to, for the fast speed. We also evaluated two expertise level, uh, three finger speeds, and the same tactile texture. And here in the left, uh, above in the, uh, on the bottom left, you can see the two examples of uh, the screens for selection. And the difference between the novice and the expert, in the novice we had the display of the texture and the information, but in the expert level, participant had to select directly the information. Now for the, the third task, which was two finger speech channels, here participants had to move their finger at two distinct uh, speeds, identify each texture uh, perceived, identify each, uh, each, texture, which, uh, each, texture, uh, each texture perceived at each speed, and further identify the association of information. So we, we had also two expertise level. We had three sets of finger speed, slow plus moderate, slow plus fast, and moderate plus fast. And we evaluated three combination of textures, uh, nine combination of textures, sorry. And in the left, we have also uh, an example of how novice and expert looks like. So for example, for the slow plus moderate speed, okay, set of speed, for the, for, the novice, uh, for the novice display, for a participant had to select for each speed the, uh, the, the information which was associated with the texture that was perceived. But for the expert level, they had only to select directly the information. So for example, if we had, uh, we had uh, the set of medium, medium texture, participant had to select for the expert the, uh, the, 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 blue, the blue circle. And finally, for the fourth task, which is three finger speed channels, here, participants had to move their finger at three different, uh, three different speeds, perceive the, 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 the texture that is associated with each speed, and further identify the combination, the association of information. So we had also two expert, expertise level, uh, that uh, one finger speed set, which is slow plus moderate plus fast, and uh, finally, nine tactile texture among the 27 possible uh, combination. We, know we, 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 try, we, we choose to evaluate only nine to, mini, to minimize fa 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 fatigue and uh, keep data consistency. So for the measurement measures, we took uh, <coughs> for time performance, we took the trial time, which defined as the time taken by a user to from starting moving his finger on the surface until pressing the enter button. And we evaluate also the accuracy, which is the portion of correct identification of information. And also, we took some measure about subject, which about uh, we took also subjective measurements. So, for the result, for the for uh, the, the first task, we had no significant effect for, effect for the accuracy with the overall mean of uh, about eighty four percent. For the and uh, for the trial time, without surprise, we had uh, we found that the speed was uh, significantly slower than uh, the moderate and the fast. Also, for the second task. We had the significant effect of accuracy, a uh, uh, significant expert of expertise in accuracy, with the, the expert level, level being significantly more accurate than the, no, uh, the novice level. And for the trial time, we find two significant main effects. The first one is, uh, without surprise, of, it's of the speed, with the slow being significantly slower than both moderate and fast. And also for the expertise, expertise with the expert level being significantly faster than novice level. And for the third, uh, third task, we had uh, also significant main effect of uh, significant effect of expertise for the accuracy, with slow plus moderate being significantly more accurate than both slow plus fast and moderate plus fast. And for the trial time, 
we had no significant effect with a total mean of about 15 seconds. And finally, for the, uh, the fourth task, for the accuracy, we had a significant effect of also expertise, but this time the expert level was significantly slower than the novice level. And for the real time, we found no, dif no differences between the expert level and the novice expert with about uh, 25 uh, seconds or 26. So for the sub subjective results, uh, the slow plus moderate plus fast was the least appreciative, uh, uh, least appreciative uh, oh, based on the NASA TLX questionnaire, the slow plus moderate plus fast was the least appreciative, followed by moderate plus fast, but was only significant for mental, for mental physical and temporal demands and for efforts. Also, uh, based now on the system usability scale questionnaire, we found that the slow plus moderate had an excellent perceived usability, followed by slow plus fast, which has a good perceived usability, and finally followed by moderate plus fast and slow mo and plus moderate plus fast, which had a poor usability. Also participants, uh, part we had some comments from participants that, uh, that show us that uh, participants preferred using two, fing uh, two finger speech channels. Some participants, for example, preferred to use slow plus moderate because they found that uh, for the fast speed, uh, participants had to do more effort because they moved their finger faster. Some others uh, prefer to use slow plus fast uh, because of the gap that there, is, uh, that, it's, that, that there is between those two speeds and others prefer to use, for example, moderate plus, plus fast because they found that slow speed was too slow for them. Also, based on, also on this uh, system usability scale questionnaire, we found that the slow plus moderate plus fast was significantly more complex and they made more learning than slow plus moderate. And we had also some suggestion from our participants that because we, we know that we had that all participants prefer, prefer to use two finger speech channel, but they said that they would maybe use three finger speech channels if they uh, if the if they if the, the the speed indicator was always displayed even in the expertise level, expert level, or if they can define by themselves the threshold of the speech. And finally, uh, we had uh, for the tactile output uh, through finger speed. Uh, so for some part three participants, it, it, it serves to give details about information. For, for example, for one, par for one participant, it's for, uh, it was for the importance, uh, importance of the information. For example, a slow speed, it's for more important information and fast speed for less importance. And for two others, it was for the precision. As one g g gives an example, maybe when driving, when he moves his finger uh, for, for, for fast above the screen, it's to know which, if he had received an information or a message. And when move, moving, moving it slowly, it's to, uh, to know maybe what, what type of message or contact. And to summarize what, what we have seen quickly, we had seen that multi-channel tactile feedback was, uh, was uh, enjoyable by our users and like to use it, especially for the two-finger speech channel, and especially for the slow plus moderate, which has an accuracy of almost 90%, with a good, user, with a good perceived usability. Also, we have seen that our participants prefer to use two-finger speech channel over the three-finger speech channels, and found it more complex and needed more learnability. Also, we have seen that for the two-finger speech channel, participants move it quickly from the novice expert to the expert, the, to the ex, expert level. And we have also seen that we had uh, uh, the accuracy was higher for the expert level. And finally, as we just have seen, well, participants give us some design ideas for information delivered through, the, through, the, through feedback channels. Like, for example, use it for uh, the importance or the precision of the inf information. Uh, so thank you uh, very much and thank you for your attention.